I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on graphs. In this video, we will learn how to use graphs to find solutions to real life situations. We have a very important piecewise function which will calculate the tax rate from the earnings. We are going to analyze this function. The question here is, under a certain law, the first 50,000 of earnings are subjected to a 25% tax. Earnings greater than 50,000 but up to 100,000 are subjected to 35% tax. And earnings greater than 100,000 are taxed at 55%. Three parts to this question are, write a piecewise function to model this situation, B. Sketch a graph for the function, C. For what earning will the tax be 40,000? I have excluded the units. It could be dollars, pounds, euros, or rupees, whatever you want to use. You can use that as units for the money. Money is not bad in any units, right? Let's work on the mathematics of it. We are given three different tax rates for three different brackets. First, 50,000 really means it is a bracket where the earnings are greater than or equal to zero. Let's say earnings is X and they are less than or equal to 50,000, right? The next bracket is from 50,000 to 100,000, right? So let's say the next bracket here is from 50,000. So 50,000 is not included in this bracket, but 100,000 is included. Correct. And the last bracket is above 100,000. So 100,000. So where X is our earnings. Now for these earnings, we are given tax rates, right? So now the tax rates are, let's write down here, tax rates. For each bracket. Now, in the first case, it is 25%. So when I say 25%, I mean you could multiply by 0 0.25. That is the equivalent of 25%. Then we have 35%. So 35% is same as 0 0.35. And 55%, I could write as 0 0.55 in decimals. Perfect. Now, let us figure out the maximum tax in each bracket. You can say bracket or interval. So let's use calculator to find this. The maximum tax will be on the maximum amount, right? So let me just draw a few lines here so that becomes absolutely clear. So we need to multiply the maximum with the tax rate. So 50,000 quarter of that, right? So 50 and 1, 2, 3 zeros times 0 0.25 gives us 125,000. Or I can say 12,500. So we get 12,500 as the maximum. Now for 100,000, it is how much? We need to calculate that. but you know, this is kind of from 50,000 to 100,000. So we should know what is the minimum paid and then based on that, we need to work it out. So there is no direct way of going about it at present. So in this case, you see, we'll have to kind of go it in steps and let me now define our piecewise function to do the needful. So that is where the piecewise function comes. So let us say the tax for our earning X is equal to first part is very clear to us and the first part is that it is 25 percent of the earnings which is 0 0.25 of the earnings which is represented by x right so that works when we have x which is greater than or equal to zero and is less than or equal to fifty thousand clear now, as soon as you cross this bracket and the earnings are more than 50,000, right? So if the earnings are more than 50,000, you have already paid 
tax on the first 50,000 and that is 12,500. So, so the first 50,000 will be taxed at 12,500, right? And on this balance amount, which is above 50,000, right? So we say, which is X minus 50,000. On this amount, there will be 35% tax. Is this clear to you? Now, that is the most critical statement here. So, on the first 50,000, you pay at the rate of 25%, which is 12,500. And on balance, that means X minus 50,000, you pay at the rate of 35%, right? And how much maximum do you pay? We can calculate from this equation now, right? So, the maximum which we have is the limit of 100,000, right? So, for 100,000, how much do you pay? So, you pay 12,500 for the first 50,000. And on that, you pay 0.35 times, let me write within brackets, 100,000 minus 50,000 bracket close and equal to and that is the amount 30,000 correct so so in this bracket the maximum amount which you pay is 30,000 and that is when your earning is 100,000 you get the idea right so you pay 12,500 on the first 50,000 and all the amounts in between will be taxed at 35 percent so maximum, this is your maximum, right? So we are saying maximum tax will be in this bracket, 30,000. So when you move to the next bracket, this 30,000 you have already paid. And balance will be taxed at 55%. And now the earnings are more than 100,000. Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you? So the first bracket, you are paying at the rate of 25%. The second bracket is when your earnings are more than 50,000 but less than equal to 100,000. And the last bracket is when the earnings are more than 100,000. In that case, you have already paid 30,000 for all those earnings which were less than 100,000. And on the balance, you pay at the rate of 55%. Is that clear to you? Right? So that is how we actually find our piecewise function. So this is the piecewise function. Is that clear to you? Right. So uh, let me take an additional example here. Let's call that as part D. And that is tax for earnings of, let's take a value, which is more than 100,000. Uh, let's say 15,000. 150,000. Okay, so let's do part D. I've just added this. So if I want to calculate what is my earning for 150,000, then using this formula, I know this is within this bracket, correct? Then I have to use the third part, which is 30,000 plus 0 0.55. That is the rate at which it will be taxed. 150,000 minus 100,000. So let's calculate this value. So we get here 30,000 plus 0.55 within brackets. 150 minus 100 is 50,000. So let me write 50,000. And this amount is 575,100. So it is 57,500. Do you see the idea? So, with this function, we can actually calculate tax for any amount. So, if you have an amount which is 75,000, then you'll use this piece, right? And if the earning is less than 50,000, let's say 40,000, then we multiply it by 0.25 to calculate the tax. Perfect. So, that is the piecewise function which can help you calculate the facts, tax for the given facts perfect so now in the next part let us see how to sketch this graph and from the graph 
for what earning will the tax be 40,000? We'll, we'll get it from the graph, right? So in the first part, we have already seen what is the tax function here. So the tax could be calculated from the earnings using the piecewise function. So it was 0 0.25, sorry, 0 0.25 when the earnings were from 0 to 50,000, right? Let me write 50K here in short. And this tax rate was 35% for more than 50,000. Maximum amount in this case came out to be 12,500. And to this, we'll add the tax rate of 35%, which is 0 0.35 on the value, which is higher than 50,000. So X minus 50,000, is that clear? So that was our formula. So this formula can be applied when we are working on 50K to 100K. Where 100K is included, but 50K is not included. The maximum of this is 30,000. So the next bracket starts with 30,000 plus the tax rate is 55% of any amount which is more than 100,000. Right, so if the amount is greater than 100K, then that is the tax rate. Now we are going to use this particular graph and we're going to, we'll graph this function here. So the independent variable here, of course, is the earnings, right? So let me sketch the earnings along the horizontal direction. And on the vertical, will sketch the tax so that is the tax and this is the earnings e uh, x in dollars or whatever units you choose so one two three four five let's say this is fifty thousand okay so we say fifty k fifty thousand six seven eight nine ten hundred thousand one two three four five that becomes 150 for us right so k for thousands right so it is thousands of earnings and here the amount is in tax we worked out some values like 12,500 so 30,000 and so on so let's say 10 20 30 40 50 60 like this right so let this be 20 this be 40 right so uh, let's say 60 k K means thousand for us. Okay. So those are the earnings. So let's plot some points. We know that when the earning is fifty thousand, the tax is twelve thousand five hundred. So for fifty thousand, it is more than ten. This is fifteen and half of that, right? For zero, it is zero. Okay. Then when the earning is hundred thousand, the tax is thirty thousand. So. So for earning of 100, we have a tax rate of 30, so which is this. We also calculated a value earlier, and that was for when the tax uh, for uh, the amount of, uh, we calculated for 150,000, right? Let me write K here, 150,000. It was 57,500, correct? So that's what we calculated earlier. So I'm using this value now, right? Okay. So this is 57,500. So at uh, the earning of 150, so 57,500 will be kind of like this, less than 60, more than 50, kind of like this. Now, if we connect these lines, we get our graph for different earnings, right? So when you do it, you should do it with a scale, or, you know, more accurately, but we, I'm just giving you an idea, right? So. But this is fairly accurate. As far as graphs are concerned, we are normally going to get estimated value. So from the graph, I'll do estimate from graph. We can calculate also, but at present we'll just estimate from graph. Okay, so that becomes the graph and it doesn't really stop here, right? So because earnings could be much more, so it, this arrow indicates that it goes along the straight line. 
So you can see that the gradient here is lesser than these two places and as their earnings increase, gradient increases, which corresponds to 25%, 35% and 55%. Perfect. Now, so we've done part B. Let's see part C. Earning of 40,000, that means we have to look for this point and we get a point here. So from the graph, we get 100 and 10, 120. So from the graph, we get 120K as the earnings. So part C, we get earnings of 120,000 will be taxed approximately 40,000. Right? So that is how we could do it. Now, for some of you, you can actually pause the video and calculate it theoretically, right? So let's do the reverse calculation. So now we'll extend this and we'll do part C uh, algebraically. From the function t of x, correct? So let's do this part in this space. So what we are given here is the tax amount is 40,000. So we'll write 40,000 for the tax amount. And since this amount lies in the third bracket, it should be equal to 30,000 plus 0 0.55 times x minus 100,000, correct? We need to find x. So first thing you divide, you take away 30,000, so we get 40,000 minus 30,000, correct? Okay, and then you divide by 0 0.55, so you get 0 0.55. Once you do that, then you add 100,000 to isolate X, right? So I'm doing all the things in one step, uh, only to, because I have very limited space here, but that finally will be your answer, right? So let's calculate this answer now. So 140,000 minus 30,000, let's do 40, 1, 2, 3, minus 30, 1, 2, 3, 10,000, divided by 0. 0.55. So we get some number. And to this number, we are going to add 100,000, 1, 2, 3. And we get our answer, which is 1, 1, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1. That is the amount of which we got here, right? So we got from calculation approximately 11.8 thousand, right? Which is close enough, right? Which is approximately as 11.8 K, right? So that is the one thousand, right? So, so that's what we get. And from the graph, we get around 12,000, right? Uh, sorry, 118,000. Sorry, 118,000, not 11.8. The earnings is 118,000, right? So here it is 120,000. So that is the, the approximate value which the graph gives you. And the calculation answer is exact value is, is 118,000. Is it clear? For tax of 40,000. Is it okay? So that is how we could do it theoretically also. But I hope with this you understand totally how the graphs can be used. It's very fast, you don't really have to do any calculations. And a more accurate graph will give you a result, which will be much closer than what we got, right? So it all depends on the scale which you take, and that should help you to give more accurate graphs. But I hope this exercise helps you to understand the basic concept. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time, and all the best.